Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be testing barrels again. Those of you who have watched the previous one on aluminium flex, today we're going to do the carbon. So if you haven't watched the previous, click on this link and let's get started with the carbon test. This is set up exactly the same as the previous. All the jigging here is the same, the clamping. So this zone here shouldn't make any difference to the test. The only difference is we have a carbon tube, the same length as the aluminium, same muzzle, same laser, same pulling system. It's going to pull exactly the same place as what two bands would be. On a side note, the looped Dyneema I have here is actually a single loop, so it balances out. So the stress on the muzzle would be exactly the same balanced between the two holes. That should have some effect. So. Without further ado, let's pull. There's already a one kilo load. We're gonna take it up to 100 kilos. It's on zero on the ruler. Here we go. There's 50 odd, which is about the equivalent to one 16 mil. Let's take her up to 100. Shackle just got into position. Oh, there, too much. Let it go down a bit. Let's pull it again. Just over 100, that'll balance back down. Now you can see on the ruler how much little flex there is in the carbon. We know the carbon is a lot stiffer, so that variation in your shot should make a huge difference to the accuracy. We got a feeling that the spear will re release out the gun much smoother. If there's any wobble on the spear, that will slow the spear down. In this case, a lot smoother and the reason why you should be using a carbon. Although carbon is a lot stiffer, it's also a lot lighter. Because of the lightness, we actually add lead in the muzzle. So that muzzle jump will be a lot less. We've demoed that in the past, we have shown it. So. This is the reason why you should use carbon opposed to aluminium if you want that additional benefit of accuracy. Hope you enjoyed that video. Stand by for the next. The next will be a Timberline.